Hello everyone! Welcome to Scrap Steam Logos of Britain. Each week, we'll take a look at a class of locomotives that did not make it into preservation. All of these classes will be standard gauge and owned by either a pre-grouping railway company, one of the big four railway companies, and or British Railways. While some classes will get a new build member, most classes will be scrapped and likely remain scrapped. Here we go! Our next episode is on the Southern Railway W Class. During the 1930s, the Southern Railway found that it had a lack of motive power for freight traffic around London. This area had steep gradients and multiple junctions, which made London freight traffic very difficult. Any goods engines working in this area would have to be quick and powerful so as not to get in the way of suburban traffic, which had priority. Due to the negative experience with the K-Class and K-1-Class 264 tanks, Richard Monsell only designed one other class of tank engine, this being the Z-Class 080s. However, the class was designed for shunting and not fast enough for London freight workings. Monsell went back to the drawing board and decided to design a 264 tank with 5 foot 6 inch driving wheels. This would provide a good turn of speed and a sufficient coal and water capacity. Classified as W, they also had three cylinders at 16.5 by 28 inches. The 200 psi boiler was the same as that fitted to the N, N1, and U1 class moguls. The resulting tractive effort was 29,453 pounds. To accommodate for the variety, of non-braked rolling stock, the W's were fitted with high force steam brakes. The bogies and pony trucks were left over from the K-Class after they were all rebuilt into U-Class moguls. Like many Monsell designs, the W's were initially fitted with snifting valves. This worked by sucking air into the cylinders and allowing the locomotive to coast freely. However, the snifting valves were removed in later years. Designed at Ashford, the first batch of five, numbers 1911 to 1915, emerged from Eastley Works between January and February 1932. These had right-hand drive and gravity-operated sanding gear. The final ten, Numbers 1916 to 1925 had left-hand drive and steam-powered sanding gear. These were built at Ashford between April 1935 and April 1936. Initially, the class was allocated to Norwood Junction, Hither Green, and Stewart's Lane. Although not the most well-known of Monsell's designs, the W's proved to be very reliable and efficient performers that just got on with their tasks at hand. The only complaint that crews had was on the Eastley batch. Since most of the signals were on the left-hand side, the driver found it difficult to stop. In many cases, the fireman acted as a lookout. As well as on London freight traffic, the W's also hauled cross-country freights to Old Oak Common on the Great Western, Cricklewood and Wilsden on the LMS, and Firm Park on the LNER. All of the class survived into British Railways ownership in 1948. Around this time, the southern region, as it was now known, found that it needed a large passenger tank to work over the non-electrified lines. In May of that year, number 31918 was tested on passenger trains against an LMS Fairburn tank between Victoria and Tunbridge Wells West. The results were that the Fairburn provided a smoother ride than the W, which would ride roughly at speed, much like the K's and K1 before it. As a result, the W's remained confined to London freight work for the rest of their working lives. Between 1959 in 1960, the Eastley built W's had their gravity powered sanding gear replaced with steam powered sanding gear. 
Between 1960 and 1961, eight of the class moved away from London to Eastleigh in Exmouth Junction. One member, number 31912, was reallocated from Eastleigh to Exmouth Junction in November 1962. However, between 1962 and 1963, those four based at Exmouth Junction all moved back to Feltham and Norwood Junction. The first withdrawal was number 31923 from Feltham in February 1963. However, mass withdrawals didn't start until June when number 31921 was withdrawn from Norwood Junction. Withdrawals progressed steadily, and the last two members to go were numbers 31912 and 31914 from Feltham in August 1964, being cut up at Kettering in November of that year. This series is inspired by Locomotives of Great Britain by Rail Air Land and Sea and Top 10 Extinct British Steam Locomotives by Pendennis Castle. Links to both their channels are in the description below. As always, if you have any suggestions for a locomotive you would like me to cover, then let me know in the comments. I may include that locomotive in a future episode. If you like what you see, and you want to see more content like this, then feel free to like and subscribe. Next time I will discuss the Great Western 3521s. Take care everyone, goodbye for now.